Okay, I just want to cover a few things about this news the other day. There was attempt number two against Trump. The legacy media has missed some details about this. They keep saying AK style. It was not an AK style. It was an SKS. Now, there's a few outlets are starting to come out with the truth about that, but I'm not saying they lied, but they really love to run around the terms about AK style, AK style. We'll demonstrate that it was not that. The attempt was between three and 500 yards. I have a video that I took the other day where I tried to do it from 400 yards. Didn't have an optic, but I'll show you how that went. There was no shots fired by the suspect. Those were all from the Secret Service advance agent. The suspect was outside the golf course in a public area, poking his rifle through the fence, most likely just trying to get some support that way. We'll go over that. And this shot, the conclusion is it would have been difficult for anybody, and especially so given this guy's lack of experience and really terrible setup. So in my opinion, this guy was not an asset. He was just a fool with a dumb idea. So let's get into the video I did yesterday. All right, this is what 400 yards looks like. That's a silhouette of what would be a six foot man. Can barely hold it still here. At 400 yards. And back and away here, you can see how far this is. It's a pretty good distance. That's 400 yards. And that's an SKS barrel with iron sights. But still, assuming it's set at the 400 meter elevation in the back with an iron sight, I was able to hit that once out of 10 rounds. So if that guy sitting in the bushes had a scope on his, assuming it was properly zeroed, maybe he'd do a little better, but he didn't have a solid place to rest it either, which is why he was sticking that barrel through the fence, probably using that as a place to rest his barrel and get a better shot at Trump, who was on the next golf war hole. But um, some sharp-eyed Secret Service guy knew what an SKS barrel looked like. He saw it poke out, probably told him to drop it. Guy pulled the barrel back, at which point the, uh, the Secret Service guy didn't know the barrel was being aimed at him, so he opened fire at him. And the guy ran away. I think that's how it went down. It was not an AK-47 type, it was an SKS. I mean, sure, same ammo, but not the same weapon. And stock, they don't have 30-round magazines. They come with a 10-round magazine. They always fire better that way. But anyway, this would have been a difficult shot for somebody with experience and a properly zeroed scope for some numbnuts sitting in the bushes. Uh, who knows? I mean, I, anything's possible, but... That is what I think the layout was based on everything we know. So there you have it. And that is a similar to what I just showed you. And you can see 10 round magazine right there. Now the picture I know showed a big scary 30 round magazine, but you can convert that and you can add different stocks and what have you here like this. Ooh, big and scary. Same basic rifle though underneath. And these things were never made to fire fully automatic. So that would be an impossible conversion, at least nothing reliable. Certainly couldn't make it select fire. You can see here, that's how you identify it's an SKS. It's a longer barrel. Sometimes they have a different uh, muzzle brake on the end of it, but this here is where the bayonet would get mounted, as you saw back here, right there. That's the hinge point for it. So that's more than likely what he had. It wasn't even this nice with all these Picatinny rails and bipods and stuff. He just had a SKS that somebody threw a stock on and then added a 30-round magazine to it, which wouldn't be easily detachable, by the way. Um, it would, I mean, you could, but it's, it's, it was never meant to, to operate with that. But, of course, the media, oh, Soviet-style rifle used in Trump assassination attempts, you know. Secret Service agents spotted a rifle barrel poking through the chain link fence, as I suspected, three to 500 yards away. West Palm Beach Sheriff Rick Bradshaw said at the press conference, AK-47 style assault rifle, whoa, styles. Okay, well, it, it wasn't that. Curved, detachable, you know, kind of, sort of, not, not detachable as easily as it is with a proper AK or an AR. We got a better picture of it here. It's still a little fuzzy, but let's see if we can get, there we go right here. See how long that barrel is? Yeah, that, that is an SKS barrel. That's not an AK, AK barrel wouldn't be that long. I don't know if he had something he was trying to shield himself with, these knapsacks. Looks like his GoPro was up here, but he probably had this barrel resting against this fence here. You got a little bit of tree cover here. Maybe you couldn't see it from the hole, but the Secret Service saw this barrel poking out, and I don't blame the guy for opening up on him. And of course, here he is. Searched, frisked, whatever else. Um, okay, this guy here says he's saying SKS. I don't know if that's an official. No, just don't know who this guy is, but he's correct. But that's what it is, a synthetic aftermarket stock and a GoPro recovered at the scene. So there you have it. There's your asset. There's your secret agent. There's your whatever anybody thinks he is. But he is a mouth-breathing nut job with a stupid idea. So, you know, better luck next time. It's really all there is to say about this. <laughs> I really hope he gets some better protection. The advanced guy should not be the one picking these people out. That guy should never have had that opportunity. 
Anyway, that's all we got. Love to see it in the comments. Thanks.